I decided to call on His Excellency, our illustrious leader, Professor J. A. Mills, to inform him that I'll be coming to Takradi on Monday to receive, together with my colleague, the Agri Minister, four first, fast patrol boats built by a Chinese shipyard company. And the introduction of this to His Excellency, I had the opportunity of taking about 10 minutes of his time. And the summary of what we discussed is simply this. His Excellency said to me, General, within the last three years, this government under my leadership has made tremendous strides. We have achieved so much politically, economically, socially. And it is the government's responsibility that we build security services that can secure and protect these achievements that we've chalked over the last three years. And I agreed very much with him. As you can see across the continent today, you can achieve everything on this earth. But you do, if you don't have the capability to secure and defend these achievements, you haven't done anything. I won't go into details. And I support His Excellency, the President, wholly for the statement that he made about the security of this country and the fact that every Ghanaian must join in to protect and defend the great achievements that this country has gone through over the last three years. I also made it clear to His Excellency that as his defense minister, with military high command and the entire armed forces, we stand behind him, go with them to welcome the FPS. It was a jolly good ride. But you bashed the Navy a lot for what you saw on those ships. Today we have new vessels. And this is the beginning. We are moving ahead for more vessels. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm indeed very happy to be here this morning to share in the excitement of receiving these four fast patrol boats from China. This event will go down in the annals of the nation in general, and the Navy in particular, as an important milestone in our journey as a country. The four ships, GNS Blika, I hope I'm right, Garenga, Chemle, and Eho, which were built in Qingdao, Quinjin Shipyard in China, could not have come at any better time than this. In delivering the State of the Nation Address this year, His Excellency the President and the Commander-in-Chief of the Ghana Armed Forces hinted on steps to resource the Ghana Navy and maintain a strong maritime presence in the sub-region. He further pointed out his plans for the Ghana Armed Forces to collectively ensure the country's territorial integrity and provide safe sea passage to all legitimate traffic while co combating illegal activities, including bunkering, drug trafficking, poaching, and patrolling. In our effort to get the Navy revamped to effectively carry out the, its roles, the government approached Polytechnologies Incorporated in China to build four fast patrol boats for the country. Two of these ships were paid for by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture to be used exclusively 
for the enforcement of fisheries regulations and laws, while the other two will be deployed for all military roles as well as other tasks that will be assigned. Ladies and gentlemen, the rising incidence of piracy within the Gulf of Guinea is indeed worrying. In the last two months, their activities have revealed a pattern which calls for vigorous interrogation by stakeholders in the maritime industry. At a recent meeting of chiefs of defense staff of ECOWAS countries, the issue of piracy was extensively discussed. The navies of the sub-region are collaborating and would engage these negative elements in our midst very soon. I have no doubt in my mind that with the arrival of these ships, the Ghana Navy has been put in a better position to ensure total peace in our maritime domain. I want to urge the Navy take very good care of these strategic assets and put them to good use for the good of our great country and also ensure their lifespan is prolonged. The ships, as you see them here this morning, will be towed into Sekendi Naval Harbor later today to join the remainder of the naval fleet. The ship's company will man and commence activation of the machinery and other equipment soon. I am told that the program for the workup will also commence in earnest to prepare the ships for commissioning, which will come on before the year ends. I must thank Polytechnologies Incorporated for the professional manner they executed the contract. They worked round the clock and completed the construction in a record time of 18 months. This singular achievement by Polytechnologies will go a long way to deepen the already existing good relationship between Ghana and China. It is my hope that this will also foster even closer relationship as we begin to explore other areas of cooperation. I'm also told that some personnel for Polytechnologies are already in the country to assist their Ghanaian counterparts with the activation of the equipment and training of personnel on the machinery. I say ni hao to all of them And I wish them a wonderful stay and hope they will also take time off their heavy schedule to visit the countryside and make friends. I wish also to thank my colleague, Minister of Food and Agriculture, for teaming up with me and the Navy in this project and wish to assure him that his ships are in very safe hands and they will be put to good use ensure that the fisheries regulations and related laws are enforced. Finally, ladies and gentlemen gathered here, I want to thank you all for coming.